everybody, this is John. Welcome to the free video. A uh, lot to cover in the premium video as well. Just update on positions and hedges and all that kind of fun stuff. Some nice, nice volatility coming into the new year. So for today in the free video, I want to talk about kind of the markets versus individual stocks. So in terms of individual stocks, here we have Walmart. And you can see here that Walmart um, essentially is, while the market has been getting trashed the last couple of days, is simply consolidating. Um, and acting fantastic. Now, Walmart's not the most exciting stock in the world from an aggressive trading standpoint, although you can see that this weekly squeeze here was nice for a 10 point run. But on something like this, this is something where the longer you kind of consolidate under this tree line here, the, the more momentum you're building for a move through it. So in a market like this, if you're kind of worried about the, the downside here, uh, but at the same time, know that we could get an upside, kind of a jump at any time, then something like Walmart here makes a lot of sense. Now, I do think that we're at a point where the markets are ready for at least a, not necessarily, you know, a rally to all new highs, but at least a, it's time for kind of that retracement, you know, kind of a rally where um, you know, I'm not looking for a V-shaped bottom, but I am looking for, hey, you know what, we've come down from 105 to nearly 99, one, two, three, four, five days in a, row, and in a row. And after that, you're typically looking for a move up. So I would actually start looking at selling some put credit spreads on some of the stocks that have been beaten down. Priceline, uh, to me, is a good one, a good example of one. Um, but also, don't shy away from the stronger stocks here. Stocks like Apple uh, has been have been holding up well, especially if you look here at the weekly chart, compared to a lot of other stocks. You know, look at Apple here on a weekly chart compared to, say, Google on a weekly chart. You know, which one would I want to buy here? Okay, well, it's going to be Apple because it's holding up. Also, too, I am interested in looking at adding some additional uh, positions to the short side to take advantage of the down movement. Uh, but at this point, it's more looking for reversions to the mean. So if Google can get a rally back up to you know 521 or so, that's where I'd want to take positions. And then last but not least, uh, for USO, this thing just continues to get obliterated. As I've said a number of times, I'm looking for oil to continue going lower uh, until it just essentially wipes everybody out who's leveraged. And then, and only then, can it find a bottom. And for those of you that have taken the TLT trade, we did hit targets today. I know a lot of you asked, like, well, I have February options. Well, it's okay to hold on to them. But just remember that, you know, what we're doing here is we're buying reversions to the mean. So any move back to the mean at this point would mean a move almost of $6. Now, I don't know if it's going to do that. All I know is at this point we're extended. We got a beautiful entry here at the 21 EMA. And this is where I'm taking profits with the idea to load up. Now, sh you certainly can take half off or three quarters off, but you know, when you get into a target like that, that's when we're looking to uh, take profits. All right, hope it helps. You guys have a fantastic trading day and we'll see you at the next update.